Hi all, I have an absolutely fascinating game to show you today. This was played in the Chesscon Blitz Bonanza final five minutes with a two second increment. Playing white is stockfish, playing black is antifish. Antifish is a specifically trained neural network. It's a project idea of c -Skill. He says in his own words, the basic idea is to train a neural network with the sole purpose of beating Stockfish dev. Using the games, you can help improve Stockfish's original evaluation function. The idea has been mentioned a few times on the Leela Discord, however, it never got any traction. I doubt this post will change anything, but I hope to bring attention to a few possible ideas. The Anti-Fish Leela project specifically trains Leela against Stockfish dev. At first, a non-zero ELO network network will likely to be needed. This can work in the form of ID 100 to 150. Generate gains by playing anti-fish Leela against Stockfish Dev with low nodes. Increase the nodes for Stockfish as needed until a certain point, depending on the resources available. In theory, it should be possible to produce a neural network that beats Stockfish by a considerable amount, as the network will attempt to specifically target holes and weaknesses within Stockfish's evaluation. Uh, we've seen a variety of games between Stockfish and Leela, where Stockfish misevaluates heavily. With an anti-Stockfish specific engine, these holes in evaluation will be far clearer and easier to ascertain and ultimately patch. So, very, very interesting project. It reminds me actually of a neural network nightmare episode in this thing called the Black Mirror, which is this uh, amazing sci-fi, which I should really carry on watching actually. I watched a few episodes, but there was definitely one, this game developer, created this neural network game which uh, presented people's worst nightmares. It was a plug-in and uh, yeah, it was pretty scary. I couldn't actually watch the end of the episode. Um, so is, this is like science fiction, isn't it? A, a tailored neural network to, to your, your worst nightmares and weaknesses. Let's have a look at what happened then. E4 from Stockfish. Antifish plays the French Defence, which surely is not Stockfish's worst nightmare. I think the, the opening uh, was set. Uh, Stockfish rarely, I believe, loses against other engines when they play the French defence. Generally, the French defence is probably the most bashed of all 1e4 defences going. Uh, so we have d4, d5, knight d2. I mean, the reason for that could be that the space advantage uh, that white usually gets in the French defence in, in many of the variations. Here, Stockfish is getting a space advantage is reinforcing the center bishop d3 now anti fish plays c takes d4 so reducing the central tension hitting d4 that's protected a5 a4 check so maybe here is uh, one of the points to be really annoying on this check the king actually just goes to f1 stockfish is basically saying doesn't mind a bit of king uh misplacements here not not just casting as maybe you know things like h4 later for this rook to come into the game we have black playing f6 so usually in these tarish variations f6 can be good to try and generate some f file counterplay and undermine the center of course bishop e3 so if taking taking hitting the queen we have queen dropping back and now instead of e takes actually stockfish plays the more tactical knight h4 with ideas like queen h5 check to at least disrupt black's king. We do have f takes check and the king voluntarily moves. Of course, there's a pin g6. There's either bishop takes or knight takes, for example, it seems. So king d8, we have knight g6. And now knight f6 hitting the queen before now moving. Uh, and now another, as we said, before, before moving the rook, another one, e takes, knight takes. So black uh, has got more pawns in the centre here. Just one. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five. Just one extra pawn in the centre. Is this a big deal? Rook g8. Isn't the black king misplaced? And also, after knight b5, isn't there a big problem here for black to solve? We see black playing queen b8. Now, on queen f7, then check is good for example here there's queen g3 looking at coming in on these dark squares knight e8 protects d6 and c7 but then check this leads to a very good position for white so that's not really uh, the idea to play queen f7 and even worse is king so after queen f7 uh, 
if queen f7 was played yeah that that would happen and if king e8 was played here uh then knight c7 check is picking up the rook so yeah the queen f7 line it looks pretty diabolical but the whole thing is avoided the point is actually queen b8 which is pretty curious because there exists a forcing sequence now check and now the black queen is checkmated after bishop c7 so you might think this is hardly stockfish's worst nightmare is it winning the queen it's only for two pieces and the center pawn what's going on here funny enough we have well there is a knight hanging as well uh we have seen a game recently uh on this channel where stockfish um where Leela did play ordinary Leela played a kind of queen sack for two pieces and two there were two extra pawns in the center and Leela had a phenomenal win there is this a same some sort of the same uh game pattern so two pieces for the queen I mean let's take stock here <laughs> pardon the pun uh for stockfish's position and and anti-fish um why why is this dangerous the knight can go here knight f4 uh there's no prospect of winning another piece here uh g5 looks far too risky this means like queen h6 hitting the knight for example it looks far too risky to do that uh so it's it's really two pieces for the queen and one pawn extra in the center the king is slightly misplaced the white king is slightly misplaced uh, we see the pawn being pushed e5 the knight going back bishop e6 does this look like fantastic compensation rook c1 and now rook ad8 f3 now this does mean it's kind of with these pawns here it looks as though black can use basically a minority attack if you remember the, the classic uh minority of attack idea is using a minority of pawns to attack a majority of pawns that does seem to be a fantastic plan here with the added bonus that the king is on this side of the board so the minor minority attack is to inflict structural damage usually and you start to see now that black's pieces start getting pointed at this pawn chain we see the move d4 h3 and now yeah this is looking juicy from minority attack with g4 later we see bishop d5 putting pressure on f3 bishop b5 and an unpinning move so right now again holds e5 queen g3 so queen takes is not threatened at the moment but bishop takes might so actually that is reinforced uh just to give you a, a gist of the, of the position if king g1 instead then bishop d6 and you know this is looking comfortable here for black already already technically looks about equal so queen g3 bishop d6 the queen drops back now it looks as though there's an issue with a5 that's addressed it's shielded knight b4 knight g3 is this stockfish's worst nightmare it's uh as i say on pawns black is only one pawn up so it's two pieces for the queen we see king a8 now this move is really quite interesting it's a fantastic celebration of the bishop without a counterpart there's no dark square bishop in white's camp and actually by fueling this a bit more then the bishop can hit on this diagonal potentially without any counterpart as well as this diagonal so it's much more flexible if it is around here we see king g8 bishop b8 so much more flexibility unopposed on those dark squares relatively rook d1 and now the minority attack continues g5 and you start to see hmm this is kind of an evaluation nightmare because if stockfish had been originally programmed that the queen is given say nine units i mean sometimes the queen is given 10 in some books uh let's say you know or 9.5 two pieces there was supposed to be like a knight is sometimes given 2.5 not free so you know free plus 2.5 5.5 plus a pawn 6.5 we're talking okay let's be generous seven we're still far away from either nine or ten right we're two units away so what on earth is going on here 
these pieces are in there's a big conspiracy here the pieces are conspiring they're combining forces they're getting more central and it seems they're manufacturing uh, the process of a minority attack which is unstoppable in this position a minority attack as far as changing the evaluation will dent create holes and weaknesses and reduce white's king safety so all of those things are going to be in downward decline once the g4 button so to speak is pressed in this position and it seems very little that white can do in this position if you feel that there are <laughs> constructive plans please do comment them uh, in the video uh, for this position it doesn't seem as though white can do anything here we see bishop d3 um no sorry rook d3 pardon me h5 so black is getting on with this minority attack uh, yeah the bishops well poised for f3 the rooks well poised for the king you know these things are all going to liberate quite well as well with this minority attack knight e4 is played rook d f8 not minding uh, the exchange of knights king h2 and now g4 this is looking as though it's kind of painful <laughs> uh for white to see this move on the board uh the structure is going to be wrecked surely uh rook g1 knight h7 even more pressure has been brought to bear potentially with knight g5 incoming rook f1 uh just as an example just as a token example b3 just to get some feel for the position knight g5 this position with h4 and then bishop takes knight takes knight f3 check uh winning material so there are some real danger points here uh that could be spelled out so anyway rook f1 g takes and now g3 so this at least tries to keep the pawns intact but can black now blast through with h4 to try and get a knight to f4 that's the key question knight g5 rook a3 knight e6 getting ready for that f4 square so there's the h4 button so to speak now to try and get f4 and with a knight on f4 we've also got this central past pawn here which can be used as a hook for the c2 square uh, so imagine a rook coming in on the second rank and we've got the kind of form pawn here the dreaded form pawn uh, just waiting for a, so, some support uh, like the the ball being kicked to the, to the goal hanger pawn so to speak if it was a football analogy so bishop d7 h4 g4 and now the form pawn is held by this monster knight on f4 which is difficult to challenge on a dark square white can't easily get rid of this knight it's holding the form pawn in place so we've got this goal hanging pawn now which we know uh leela has discovered you know it's often winning games against stockfish in general now here d3 so the actual mechanism for supporting the form pawn will be the c2 square in this position uh the the d pawn is of course uh dangerous in its own right it's been held by both knights here as well but uh quite significantly if black can get a rook to c2 now this is going to be super dangerous we have queen takes h4 okay now this this takes uh, another idea here if rook a1 then rook takes is possible with bishop takes and then check and then knight e2 actually using that's that supportive square with knight g3 this is super nasty in this position uh what what does uh white do here so if taking then knight g3 that's absolutely w winning position on material basically uh so yeah it seems this this kind of thing is uh really dangerous um yeah so let's go back to the game so queen takes h4 we have knight c2 hitting this rook and in fact white ignores that doesn't want perhaps the knight to step into e3 uh, or d4 hitting f3 so we have rook d1 stockfish decides that's the best course of action to give up the exchange here fascinating it really it really looks impressive the, these pieces now all the minor pieces look super impressive rook d1 so knight takes a3 and then the bishop drops back to c6 and now here rook d8 queen f7 white's not really doing much rook h8 queen goes to b3 bishop c7 queen f7 king b8 protecting the bishop 
And now Rook H6. This can be used uh, for potentially uh, Rook C6 and then Rook C2. Potentially Rook D2, Bishop D5 hitting the Queen, vacating C6 for this operation Rook C6. So we see with this dreaded form pawn, it seems the C2 possibility is building up here now. Rook B2, Bishop C4, Knight G3, Bishop B6, uh, Rook D2, Bishop A6, Bishop E4. Now Rook C3 is played. Uh, now the rooks can now double. So this threat of Rook C2 is now imminent. And of course, you know, if the king moves back, there's also Rook C1. This is already, this is an absolutely crushing move, isn't it? Uh, or does it, what, what is going on there? Well, white does take that bishop, check, and wins the queen. Yep. Uh, so getting the queen back, you'd think, yeah, this this is this is terrible. Couldn't white have done anything uh, here? Not really. Uh, this this is a huge threat. These bishops are also deadly on these diagonals. So that's kind of a lesser evil move, just to give give up the queen here. Uh, so yeah, this this is now a total nightmare for Stockfish after check, uh, having to give back the queen, and the queen's not automatically taken. D two, even more effective. And now taking the queen here. Now here, and white is busted. Uh, there's going to be an operation to undermine the blockader now. After knight g2 threatening knight e3. So we have knight e3 winning material. So the exchange up now. We have bishop d3 still with that really dangerous pawn. Uh, now if knight takes, then the bishop just drops back and then both of them are skewered. Uh, so knight f2, bishop drops back here. And then the king comes up the board. Or does it? Goes over there. And this is just looking terrible for white. White's the exchange down for not much. These pawns are now dropping. Or are they this nasty pin? Yeah, white can't really do much here. The pawns have been picked off on both sides of the board. So it has turned into a real stockfish nightmare. And let's see just how the technique goes of anti fish. Check. These pawns just need to be pushed out. It's just very, very easy now. And we see the. Uh, Technique of anti fish is reminiscent of Leela, just simplifying there. So, checkmate. Yeah, so it's a really, really interesting project. And C School has said there's a new uh, successor project which he's, he's working on, even more exciting. So, check that out. I'll give you the links in, in maybe the pinned comment of the video if you want to check out this project. Um, initially, my, my feeling about this project is it's kind of. Um, there's a hard coding feel to it. If you're a programmer, you don't like to hard code stuff. It's like, why hard code this this purist approach of Leela uh, to a specific engine? I think it could be used uh, in the field of diagnostics, actually, to find weaknesses in systems, to have a sort of network trained. Uh, a more positive aspect of that is, for example, um, Transcribing is a big uh, problem area at the moment. People want to transcribe YouTube videos. Will AI transcription software be able to tailor to uh, one's particular voice and peculiarities? Um, probably not mine, but you know, maybe in the future, <laughs> get close. Uh, so um, you know, the whole aspect of tailoring uh, neural networks, I I believe, is really quite interesting. So this particular example of tailoring to Stockfish, it does seem to echo. Uh, an evaluation issue with how the queen is measured, underestimating perhaps cooperation of pieces and central control, uh, where that cooperation really ultimately creates uh, a positive trend, which, as this game shows, kind of is very difficult to battle against. So if black's just improving and improving the position relentlessly, the queen sack, it appears on the evidence of this game, to have been extremely worth it. 
and it's one of the few defeats that Stockfish has taken on the white side of the French defence. So I, I really did find this game fascinating, um, not just from the technological angle uh, of tailoring neural networks, but you know the game itself and and how uh, something we would take for granted how we evaluate the Queen in general versus the pieces in terms of the material count, how that could be kind of refuted or challenged. Uh, if you enjoyed this game video as much as me, please click on the top left box, which should appear shortly. Become a member at chessbold.net. Play against other YouTubers. You can also test yourself on the variations covered in this and other game videos from the improved menu, the puzzle books option, which has a link to the annotated game. Comments, questions, donations, see the description. Like, share, subscribe with the notification bell. Really appreciate it. Thanks very much.